YouTube, it's me, Jan, your pudgy picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. I apologize for not having one last week. <laughs> if you notice, I did my booth tour because guess what I did? I made the video, it was awesome, and then I erased it. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I do have moments of sheer stupidity and I erased a haul, I know. And the way I deal with stuff, after I take this video, all this stuff will be put away, researched, everything within the next 48 hours, 24 hours. <sighs> so it's one of those things that uh, if, it, if I take a video, everything immediately gets put away. So there is no second chances of pulling anything out because I can't remember what was on it. So anyway, let's move on gracefully. I also have two whole items that I bought at the auction this past week. Uh, didn't buy anything else, didn't make a video about it, and I thought I'll just throw it in with my Monday stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, so let me show you, first of all, what I got at the auction. I got this cute little pug. Doesn't he look like CN Saves Little Charlie? But this one doesn't pee and poop on the floor, and <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so I got him for $5. The welcome sign, as well as these two, you know, they're just reproduction kind of simple things. Hang on the wall, put your keys, whatever, coat. Um, those were all one lot, and they were six. So that is all I got at the auction. So I decided I wasn't going to make a separate video because it's, it would have just been silly. Okay, these are awesome. I saw a lady when I got to the thrift store carrying these around and she was carrying them because her cart was full. So I was like, oh, those are awesome. I wish I would have got them. And look, they're only $2.50 a piece or $5 for both of them. So then, <clears throat> excuse me, when I got up to the checkout, I looked over where they have items where people are like, eh, change my mind. And guess what was sitting there? And there was a lady sitting on the green one. She was sitting on this little table. So I went over and I said, Are, is, this, is this yours? And she looked at me funny and I said, you're sitting on a table. Is it yours? Did you buy it? She goes, oh, oh no. And I said, I want to buy it. So I stood there for a second. And she finally got the hint, stand up, get off my table. And I bought them. So yeah, $5 for both. Awesome. You know, they're made to look like, you know, they're rustic, but they're not, of course. But I just love the legs on them. Very cool. Um, next item I got only for $1.50 was this cute little wire turquoise bunny. $1.50, you can't beat that. I'll put him away until next summer. <clears throat> Man, I don't know why I have a frog in my throat this morning and I apologize. These are cute. I only found the two. There's usually a flower and a sugar with them also. But I figure in this day and age, maybe somebody will want to put these out that just say coffee and tea. Uh, they are aluminum. They are from the 50s. Very good condition. A lot of times uh, these have dents or they're quite abused. Um, they were both $2.99, so they were half, I believe. Uh, yep, so $3 for both. Uh, the... I think it's the lid on this one needs to be tightened up a little bit, but those are very cute. They would fit into my kitchen quite well. Uh, I got this, not sure what I'm going to do with it. I have a couple ideas, but it was only uh, $1.50 and I just thought it was cute. So I'm thinking about maybe putting some cup hooks on the bottom and putting a way to hang it on the back and it can be like a little bulletin board key ring. Wouldn't that be awesome? So I figured for that price, I would figure out something. Now, if you don't know, uh, Old Stationery does pretty well, um, depending on, of course, the design and such. This is still sealed. Um, any of the marks you see, it's just, I need to wipe this plastic off. But 30 letters in a tablet form and 15 envelopes, and they have the most adorable little cat on them. And yeah, these are sealed. The box has a couple little dings in it, but nothing that affects the stationery. I mean, even the box is adorable. Look at that. It says Arist Cat Stationery. So I'll do my research on that, but that is an eBay item, $1.50 for it on half price day. So I definitely wanted to scoop that up. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So that was definitely a good buy. Did find a Dimensions cross stitch kit. This one looks fairly new. I mean new as far as design. It is a stamped embroidery actually. It's not a cross stitch kit. You can see the stamped on it and the yarn. <coughs> I really apologize. If, if you're wearing headphones, I truly apologize. <laughs> This one's called Bucket of Flowers. It was only $5.99, so it was $3.50. So you essentially are just doing all the flowers, but isn't it adorable? So that was a good price on that. Um, I do make my own price hang tags for my booth, and I need this uh, embroidery string to use for the hang tag part. And I always buy that at the thrift store. It's pretty cheap. Uh, there's two of them in here, plus a ribbon I don't need. <laughs> Uh, Pixel, Pix, come here. Okay, come here. Come here. People want to see you. There's Tater and there's Pixel. You can tell that Tater is never petted, never loved on, never have any attention paid. So, yeah, we're going to bark at the window now. Hopefully it won't interrupt. So that was $1.50. Not too bad. If I don't use the ribbon, I will re-donate. <laughs> Excuse me again. Got this cute little sign. It says, There cannot be a crisis this week. My schedule is already full. It was $1.50. $1.50 seems to be the price of the day. I got this little lamp with a little mesh beaded lamp shade. It was only $3. Not too bad. They taped it on there for fare thee well, so I will check that, make sure nothing's sticky when it comes time to take that off. I only got one purse today. Uh, did not do the research because I knew this was worth something. It is awesome. It has new tags, but the tag is scribbled out. So I cannot make out how much that was, but the brand, where is it? Here it's got the designer on it. Stephanie Kiker, K-I-K-E-R. So I will do the research on that. It was only $5.99 or $3. It's adjustable uh, strap, uh, beading on one side, very vibrant colors. Looks like it's never been used. So I will definitely be doing my research on that. And the rest of the items I got are shirts. I did really good this week, if you can't tell. <clears throat> and several of these are five, four, and I believe I might have one 6X. So very large sizes were donated. Awesome. People are always looking for those. So I will be doing my research. A couple of the brands are eh, not so great. Not 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 so great, but not great. And but the size kind of trumps the uh the brand name on it. And where's little Tater? <laughs> this dog loves her mommy. Say hi. Hi, everybody. So, yeah. Uh, I know everybody says, where's Tater and where's Pixel? And I'm like, they're here. They're usually upstairs chewing on a bone or napping out or fighting with each other or something. I don't know. So let's go over these shirts. <clears throat> this one was $4.50. It is a Slinky brand. It is a Petite 3X. Uh, I believe these two 3Xs are the smallest sizes I got today. This one is kind of a long tunic style. Very cool little scoop neck on that. That one was $5.50. That's a little higher than I like to play, pay. Apartment 9, that one is, like I said, a 3X. This one is kind of cool. I, I couldn't decide whether it was kind of just worn or if it actually has that stonewash look. I'm going to go with stonewash. It is an only necessity. That's a brand I don't mind for my junk around clothes. Uh, not junk around, comfortable clothes. This was $3. It is a 4X, but it is quite a bit larger than a, five, than a 4X. I would even say it's a 5X, but of course I do my measurements. Um, this one is a more probably professional type. This one is a white stag, 4X. I paid $3 for that one. This one is like a three-quarter inch or three-quarter length sleeve, but it's got this cool little, uh, you know, metal design on it and cuff. So that kind of made it interesting. That was 350. 
And this one is an Avenue brand, and it is a, yes, 2628. Very pretty color. I know it's probably coming up as blue, but it's more of a turquoise. This one is really, really adorable. It's kind of thin, like you could wear it over a tank. It is a JM Collection Woman 22W. It's mostly cotton and a little bit of other fibers. Well, that's helpful. But it's a button up and it's got, if I don't know if you can notice, it's got like little silver threads through it. So it is very cute. And that one was a nice find. This one has a cowl neck where it kind of drapes like this. <clears throat> it was a fashion bug. Again, not a great brand, but 4X. Um, that was five. This one is just so cute. Very, it just looks, it just reminds me of lemons. This one does have a new tag, and it is a Land's N 24W. The original price tag looks like it was cut off, but it's a lawn popover. This one was five fifty. Very, very cute. Love the gold buttons. Uh, great for summer. This one is kind of cool. It's kind of a tie-dye, and it has this where it looks like it has an undershirt and then the snaps. It was $3.50. It is a size 4X, and it is in Essentials. <clears throat> now, these are the larger ones. This one, I'm thinking it's made to look this way because it's not like one seam is kind of stretched out looking. I don't know. But this one is a 6X. It is a Silhouettes, which is not a cheap catalog brand. So it's kind of a, uh, it only buttons down part of the way, but it was $3.50. And I got two of these that are just in different uh, design. They're same design, but just different fabric. Um, these are Woman Within, which is a catalog brand. These are 5X. And that one was four, and I think this one was also four. No, five. But they are beautiful, great condition, awesome, real thin cotton. So even though I think they're like a three-quarter sleeve, they would be great for uh, summer. And uh, they have like a high waist, and then they only button down to there. This one I kind of debate, debated whether getting, because it's very plain, very just nondescript. It is a t-shirt material, but it does uh, just do a partial button down, kind of a blah color. Um, it was four and a quarter, and it is a Romans, which is also a catalog brand. It still has a tag here, so it is new, and it's a 5X. So the size just made me say, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. But <clears throat> a lot of large sizes today, and that's awesome because they sell very well. Um, I have been listing my shirts. They've been doing very well. I've sold maybe four or five of them so far. So very happy with that. And the larger sizes, like I said, if you get a brand that's not so great, but it's this big of a size, definitely uh, snap it up. Because there are big, bigger girls out there who are looking for clothes, and they don't want to look like they're in a paper sack, even though that one kind of looks like a paper sack. I mean, you know, no matter what size we are, we all want to be pretty, don't we? So yeah, so that's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, also, if you have not subscribed, please, please do so by clicking that subscribe button. Every once in a while I get a message. Uh, I'm sure I do get new subscribers, but somebody saying, hey, I just found your channel. And if you're one of those, then welcome, welcome. And if you've been here a while, I am glad you're still here. So please uh, subscribe to me. If you click that subscribe button, a little bell will show up. If you click on that, you will be notified when I put a new video up. And also follow me under uh, The Pudgy Picker on Twitter. That's another way you can find out. And guess who's back? What? What? <sighs> stinker. You're a stinker. Okay, well, that's all we got. Tater, you want to say bye? Say bye. No, we just want pets. <laughs> Okay, guys, I will see you next time, and until then, happy picking. Bye!